What's up, YouTube? Greetings. It's showtime. Welcome to Wolf King's Vids. All right, and now in a galaxy not so far away, President Trump um, has recently uh, working on a deal with Congress that would ensure 12 weeks of parental paid leave in exchange for making uh, his Space Force the sixth branch of the United States military. All right, we have a clip there to um, capture this event. There we go. Let's watch. Okay. There we go. Never questioned and never threatened. Space Command is an effort to reorganize and boost the U.S. military's tech capabilities in outer space. It's existed before, but dissolved more than a decade ago. General Jay Raymond currently leads what's known as Air Force Space Command. He'll be the first commander of U.S. Space Command. On behalf of the Space Warfighters, thank you for your leadership. Under SpaceCom, the military says 87 units will work to provide everything from missile warnings to satellite-based navigation for troops in the field. Former Pentagon lawyer Darren Johnson says the reorganization makes sense for national security. China and Russia have developed um, anti-satellite weapon systems. As we rely on our satellite systems, we will need to have a strategic plan in place to ensure their protection. Space Command is different from the president's push for a new military branch called Space Force. That requires congressional approval. This seems like it's the uh, next step and President Trump's announced interest in forming a space force. The space force will organize, train, and equip warriors to support SpaceCom's mission. U.S. Space Command will temporarily be headquartered at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs. Both the Imam, CBS News, the White House. That's right, folks. If given congressional approval, Emperor Donald Trump will have access to a Death Star that will allow him to fight illegal space aliens coming to steal your jobs, our water, and our resources. That's amazing. It seems like a feasible idea. It only costs hundreds of billions of dollars and may start a war with uh, with China or Russia in a, in a whole new great space race, but that's the cost, that is the price for making space great again. At a time when the U.S. is experiencing homelessness uh, rising off the charts, hundreds of thousands of people losing their health care under Trump, as well as um, <clears throat> as well as other uh, as well as other nonsense with this impeachment inquiry. What better way to solve all of those issues than by uh, initiating a space force? That'll work. Now, there are some who are arguing that there could be some kind of technological uh, breakthroughs and advances as a result of militarizing space. And, you know, that, that is a case. There is a precedent for, uh, for, for new innovations that people could, uh, could make out of believing crazy shit like, uh, like for example, uh, alchemists or astrologers or Scientologists, who knows. <laughs> but coming from a guy like Trump that thinks that... Um, that thinks that uh, what what windmills cause cancer and that you can get rid of hurricanes with nukes. Yeah, I'm pretty dubious that, that we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of progress on uh, on Trump's part. Pretty sure we're going to see a lot more explosions and a lot more loss of human lives than actual um, than actual conquest of the final frontier. So you can understand why why I might be more likely to side with the experts than uh, than people who spend a little too much time watching sci-fi but uh but that's my assessment on the situation um hopefully if we're lucky congress will be smart and not uh and not go for this uh because this is just this is ridiculous it's insane and it's uh i'm pretty damn sure it's it's not safe at all 
but that's all I gotta say. Um, if if there if the if there is some kind of uh, technological gain from it, then maybe it ought to be considered uh, carefully. But um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Getting space marines out in out in space so they could uh, do battle with uh, with Martians and shit. Yeah, this is yeah, this is not the war of the worlds. Okay, this is this is reality. So let's let's act like we live in it. Okay. All right, this has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Stop by there, no, and hail Satan. Have a nice day, and thanks for listening. Peace out. Goodbye.